Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you observers in Laravel. So I have created one video already on observers in Laravel. You can go and watch that video for basics. Here I'm going to show you how you can update and how observer will work while updating your records in DB. So let's get started. So basically observers are, you know, you can observe a model using observer. This will observe the creating, updating, deleting and restoring all these things observer will be observing. So in my previous video, I have created this view where you can add one task and let me show you DB now. So in DB you can see I'm having one table task and inside that I'm having some task. So now let's check code level. So let's go to web.php. So here you can see base URL is going to task controller index function. And inside that it's loading view that is task. Here form is there. So form save is uh, using Ajax that is going to save task form. And save task form is going to store function. Here you can see it's just inserting in task. So now in creation, I have added one observer. So let's go to task observer and here you can see created and creating function is there and logs is also added for them. So for update, update and updating also you can use. So for update in web.php, you can see I'm having one URL update and it's going to update function. But it's a get type because uh, I don't want to create a form and then edit. I'm just going to show you observers here. So here I'm just going to update and here I'm getting task of it and I'm just going to update the title here. I'm just giving a random, uh, I'm just appending basically random number to task title here. So on update, let's insert to a new table, let's say task activity. So where we are keeping, going to keep kind of log for task then when it's updating or when it's uh, created. So all these things so in observer updated function right uh, let's say task activity so this one is a model that you need to include also so in task activity we will be creating one record for let's say that task is updated so let me show you uh, table once so let's go to task activity and here you can see it's a task id and activity type i have just given created and updated data also there so here let's uh, write task id that you can get from your parameters here this is task so from task let's uh, get the id and other is uh, activity so let's say i'm just going to pass right now update that update is done so understand the flow here you can see in task controller that while updating task title is updated so this will be observing that the task is updated so this will go to update function of observer and here it will see that i have to insert in task activity so it will insert in that table so now let's check in browser so here write update task and after that pass the id of the task so right now i'm passing one only so now let's go to db and here you can see random number is appended to task title now let's go to task activities so here browse so here you can see one record is there and you can see task id is one and activity is updated so in task activity one entry is there so that is inserted using observer so let me show you once more so here let's say third id i'm going to update so here you can see random number is added and then let's go to task activities so here you can see task id 3 is there and activity updated is also there so similar to update you can also use updating that will be before updating in db this uh, observer will be working so let's uh, write similar function updating and inside that let's uh, write task activity only and just change the activity to updating let's go to browser and uh, let's check so here let's say update task uh, let's take another id 4 so here you can see random number is added and let's go to browser so here you can see two records are there because one is for updating and other is for updated you can see updating is inserted before because it's so like um, called before updating the task and updated is called after updating the task 
so i've shown you how you can use observers while updating your records in db similar way you can use delete and deleting as well then restored restoring as well force delete so all these observers you can use according to your requirement in your project so if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section i, I have shown you creating and updating observers so you can try out other observers as well so that's all for observers i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching